Uh, the CryEngine 3 is an all-in-one game development solution. We're licensing it to different developers that are developing all sorts of different games, not just first-person shooters, things like adventure games, arena shooters, MMOs even. So there's a lot of new features that are supporting those sort of things. But really, we're getting all our features from the development of Crisis 2. So being able to work on multi-platforms for the developers is a really, really strong development tool. We've always led the charge when it comes to rendering, so some of our biggest features are obviously on the rendering side. So we had a we had a bar set for PC, and we wanted to bring that visual bar over to the consoles and multi-platform. So some of the big features are things like deferred rendering, where we can put hundreds of lights within the scene now. We have an entire deferred pipeline, so we can do things like uh, real-time image-based lighting, deferred rain, like I mentioned, wet layer, and uh, some new types of anti-aliasing that haven't been seen in the industry before. In Crisis 1, we set the bar when it came to procedural destruction on vegetation. So we're setting the bar even higher when it comes to Crisis 2. So we have things like entire buildings coming down, pillars, concrete, all these procedural destructions combined with glass and pre-baked destruction of, of these large buildings and such. So I mean, it's a really interactive experience for the player. They're throwing boxes, they're blowing up canisters. All these physics are happening at the same time, and it's never slowing down the game, which is really powerful. Well, not too far off is a game by uh, our, our friends down at Ilphonic. It's a game called Nexus, and this is an arena shooter. It's a really fantastic uh, game that basically uh, brings back the uh, arena shooter sort of concept. Very, very fast game. A lot of multiplayer, which is really the only way they're going. It's going to be live on a XBLA as well as PSN. So that's kind of a, an interesting way of using the engine. Uh, and I mean, even further from that is uh, things like MMOs that are coming out that unfortunately I can't talk too much about the MMOs that are, that are on the way, but there's some, some, some titles that are quite far away from the first person shooter experience. The most interesting thing I think right now is the uh, cinematic tools that we're releasing. We are actually running a video here at GDC and we've just recently released it on game trailers. It shows a lot of the cinematic tools that we actually use not only for our cutscenes but as the uh, movie industry starts getting involved into the real-time application of all these gaming technologies. One of the more interesting features about that was this live mocap acting. So what this gives the ability to do is we're actually running the editor and we have a mocap actor actually walking around doing all these things and we can see him doing that within the actual world. But further that he's actually interacting physically with these things so he moves his arm and it actually brushes through the branches and we get touch bending away from the vegetation so his character in the world is still interacting with things it's a really exciting application of the technology so to pick up an eval of the CryEngine, you can hit mycryengine.com uh, and apply for an evaluation. You can be using it right away afterwards. And uh, later on this summer, we plan to release a free version of the CryEngine uh, available to PC users. And uh, they can uh, get more information at mycryengine.com. Achieved with CryEngine 3.